Okay, this one is about skulls and how to get them set up in your map and your game modes and all that good stuff. And it's actually very, 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 very simple to set this thing up. Like, it's ridiculously easy. Two, two nodes, as a matter of fact, for the most uh, basic form of it. So, uh, that's great. So, let's get into it and we'll talk a little bit about something right after. Okay, for map setup, it's really up to you. Uh, I'm just going to do a couple of examples here. Um, you can run, you can turn a, a skull on in any game mode, as far as I can tell, uh, with any script that would trigger it. So, that's any event. For this one, I'm going to use two, uh, two events. The first one's going to be picking up this generic skull, which is from game modes, and generic skull. That way, it's almost like a classic uh, grabbing the skull and activating it kind of thing. So we're going to go ahead and pull that into our node graph with Y. There we go. And then the event we're going to be messing with is... Events Generic Objectives and On Generic Skull Pickup. And we just plug our generic skull in here. And if you have your skull set out in the map like that, I would recommend naming them after the skull they will be activating, just for clarity and organization's sake. And now we just need two nodes, and that will be in the new category that we now have called skulls. We just need skull, which is basically, uh, hey, this is the skull we're going to turn on, and then this is the node to turn that skull on. So go ahead and plug it in like this, and then skull comes from skull. Now we need to select the skull, and for this one we're going to uh, we're gonna use catch. It doesn't really matter because there's no AIs right now. Um, make sure to enable this set to true. And now, as soon as we pick up that that skull, when we test it out, it will, in fact, my, it might give an audio cue. It might not. Some skulls give audio cues when you activate them. Catch on. Okay, so that one did. And now our skull is on up there. So there you go. That's how you do that. I'm going to show you the second event, which yeah, any event can do it. I'm just giving you examples here, but any event can trigger one of these skulls. All you need are these two nodes. That is it. And plug it into an event or plug it in in a script somewhere that runs and it will make it happen. So anyway, we're going to duplicate those as a matter of fact, just because that's exactly what I said. You only need these two. Just like that. Now, this one we're going to turn on is um, Bandana, because we can actually see the effects of this uh, pretty immediately. So go ahead and start it, test it. We have Bandana on up there, and we do have infinite ammo down there now. And if I pick this up, now we have two skulls active. You're probably wondering uh, how many can we get, and yes, uh, you can in fact get all skulls on at the same time uh, I already pre-made this oh that's ugly um, don't worry about this part of the script all I, I'll just go ahead and tell you that all I did to change it was I just added in every skull after the first one on on gameplay start to show you and uh, I'll go ahead and test it out the only thing you'll notice is only five show up at the top left corner even though you have um, the maximum. They all have an effect because I set blind to be the last skull other than this one right here from getting the skull. I set blind as the last one to make sure that they all did activate and blind is clearly active. So yes, all skulls can be active at the exact same time and they can all be activated like simultaneously as well. Um, like all at once, not just all being active at the same time, but like they can all also be activated at the same time if you want. But yeah, that's uh, that's the script to do that. And I'm not even gonna do a prefab. I'm not gonna lie because it is only two nodes, and it's they're both in the skull section, and they're pretty easy to find. All you got to do is plug it in in your script somewhere with an event. That's all. So that's how you get uh, skulls in any game mode, as far as I can tell, and pretty easy at that. Okay. And there's your skulls. Pretty easy to set up if uh, I say so myself. For all of them, really, for anything. It's just two nodes to plug into any script and well, there you go. So the thing I was gonna talk about was I'm pretty sure that this was a request from somebody out there. I vaguely remember it. 
Uh, but the problem is, now I'm getting so many comments. Uh, I'm, I'm not like getting blown up or anything, but like I'm getting a lot of comments now, and I'm getting comments on my older videos that YouTube is not notifying me for. That's the big problem here. I'm gonna um, be upfront that YouTube is not notifying me about comments anymore. I might get once in a blue moon a comment notification, and it's either a, either I reply or it's a random comment that uh, is new, but there's like 30 other comments that it did not tell me about at all on a video. So, um, unfortunately, I have to manually go through all of my videos and check for the comments, and I it, there's so many now, it's getting almost impossible. So what I'm going to have to do now is I'm going to recommend that if you have a request that hasn't been answered yet, or uh, if I haven't replied to it or noticed it, the best chance for me to see that is either the Discord or on one of my newer videos. Because that I usually go back about three, four, five videos in the comments to check and see what's been commented and try to catch up on some videos there. Uh, because once I go back so far, there's just uh, so many videos to check through all the comments and, and so on. So, I just wanted to touch base there and make sure that we're all good and uh, just give some recommendations on how to help you better. So, uh, that's about it, and I suppose I'll see you guys on the next one.